Life is just too short to be ho-hum. What would you be feeling if you were in a state where you absolutely would thrive? Hi, I'm Reverend Ali Beerman. I'm so glad you came by here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. So Metaphysical Ministry is all about the fact that what we can observe, what we can live, what we can experience using only our five senses to hear, taste, touch, see, and smell, that's less than one percent of what actually exists out there. So when you allow yourself to be open and available to the different way that messages come, you're going to experience a much richer, fuller, much more fun and in-depth life. We begin every week with a happy share. And my happy share is I just started a new group where we explore spirituality together. And something I absolutely love to do. And it's been a few years since I've actually led my own group. So I'm very, very, very happy to be doing that again because I get to share my experience and I get to learn from everybody else's experiences. What does it make you happy? If you go down there and let us know, you know what happens when you share something you're happy about? You get to relive it. In fact, that's the whole point of sharing it. Mine can't tell what's real and what's imagined. So, you get the same wonderful chemicals running through your body. If you're ever stuck someplace and you notice you're not in a good mood, that's what you do. You just find something that leaves you feeling happy and you be in that moment again. So what does it feel to you? How do you know when you're in a state that you're actually able to thrive? What are you seeing? What are you hearing? What are you telling yourself? What do you hear other people saying? Is there some food around? What are you tasting? What are you smelling? What are you touching? You know, you have a choice in every minute. You can just let life go by. You can live a ho-hum life. You can say, this is as good as it gets, I'm comfortable, this is enough. Or, you can take that step out, take the risk, tell yourself what you really want. And when you go after it, you get to thrive. And it's a whole different place from which to live your life. If you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold the Space For. Hold the Space For is something that you want in your life that isn't there right now. Something that's your reality. And it might be something like a different place to live, a new car. Maybe it's a course you want to take. Maybe it's finding the right group of people so you can start your own spiritual group or book group. Or I don't know what you want, but if you go down there and tell us, what will happen is it'll also appear on that page. Tell all your friends to come by and go up on the page, hold the space for it. Read each name and what people ask for. And then what happens is when you put the message out to the universe, it's a small thought form. But for every person who comes by and reads each name in the request, you don't have to know who they are. The universe does. But that thought form is getting bigger and bigger. So five, ten, a hundred people are going through each name in the request. It makes a much bigger thought form. The universe takes notice, knows you're serious about it. And that's when it can bring it to you faster. Always knowing it will come to you when it's in your highest and best interest. Now if you haven't done so already, go in over there, give me your name and email address, I'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. I really appreciate your click and like and share. Spread the word that we're here. How many friends do you have who are searching for their spirituality Spirituality and religion, they're two different things. And go ahead this week and focus on just what it is that you'll be doing and experiencing when you thrive. I wish you a week filled with many blessings that allow you to thrive.